Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, uh, the author of the Vengeance series over on vengeancebooks.com, and I wanted to go over a quick timeline for you that I had made a while ago. Um, now, I will say immediately, spoilers uh, for pretty much just consider a general spoiler warning for every book. I think the original time when I made this timeline might have been a, like May of 2020 is when this file shows. I don't know if that's accurate. That might just be when this was um, initially created on this drive. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're going to switch over here and look at this real quick. So um, this is the timeline I showed you guys before, which is not entirely accurate. This one got outdated as I was doing some stuff. Like I think the only one that's inaccurate is Cataclysm because um, cause this was including the uh, time skip at the end. So in actuality, Cataclysm only takes place in 2004. It only takes place over a couple days. So that's the only thing that's inaccurate there. So if you want to look at that, everything else is pretty accurate. Hebaloma is red. Devil to the Damned is that cyan color. Transgression is that brown. Impurity is blue. Uh, Children of Faust is purple, and Cataclysm is just 2004 green. So, <clears throat> but otherwise, we're not looking at that. We're going to be looking at this timeline here. Um, now I, this took me forever to make, and I use this as a pretty general guideline for some story building aspects. I'm going to try to move my webcam. I'm going to make it smaller, put it just kind of somewhere else. And you know what? Just so we're facing the right direction, flip my webcam there. So it looks like I'm looking at the main source of the thing. Anyway, so yeah, this timeline is not 100% accurate, you know, because this timeline hasn't been made, hasn't been edited since before I did Devil to the Damned. I think I was constructing this around book two's early conception um, just so I could figure out what was going on and how old people were at what times. I was trying to figure out ages. I was trying to figure out Chrism's age because at, at the because you know Chrism is technically like what thirty or forty or yeah she's like forty or something years old by the time book one's going on technically, but she obviously appears to be much younger. So I was trying to figure all that out. So this is all outdated, relatively outdated, old information that's not one hundred percent accurate. So. We're just going to look over it because it's fun. So starting over here at the beginning of the timeline, we have 1960. Alex Avery is born. One more time before I keep going, every date that I say may not be 100% accurate. So don't take it as full canon. 1962, Christine Matthews is born, and the character current ages, Alex is two years old. And also, obviously, I'm not considering months in this. So it, he might be one and a half or something like, I don't know. Um... 1966, Rachel McGill is born. Character ages, Alex is six. I forgot to add Christine there because um, I, <laughs> I suck. Um, so Christine would be like, what, four years old? Jump ahead to the time. The next one right here is 1978, Sin Descends Upon Earth. Christine's family is killed and Chrism is created. Happens around 1978. Um which I think I did give the exact date in Devil to the Damned, or not the exact date, but I gave uh, indications to the year that it was or something. I don't remember. Character current ages, Alex is 18, Rachel is 12, and Christine is 16. Um, the next timeline, 1979, Lucy Kinnell is born. Um, character ages, 1913 and 17. And then we have next one right here is 1980. Chrism is freed from her cage, so Sin allowed Chrism to be free once she was relatively stable from the anima. Character current ages, Alex is 20, 14, 18, 1. Um, so this is Alex is 20. Alex is 26 in transgression. So this is still all that stuff happening before that. This is the big chunk right here, which is 1980 all the way to 1995. Chrism kills innocent people and whatever sin desires to collect souls from his anima experimentation. Experiment. Man, misspelled that one in there. Just E and the M got flipped. Anyway, uh, didn't notice that. It's been four years. 1984, Ken Davis is born with a capital B, an orphan. Character ages 24, 18, 22, and 5. Um, up here in 1986, a lot happens here. So Alex and Rachel meet in 86. So this is roughly, I guess, when transgression would be taking place. Alex is 26, Rachel's 20, Christine is 24, Lucy 7, Ken is 2. And then down here, Alex kills Ira the Tuffle, and Thomas dies, who is Alex's friend in transgression. The next sequence, or next date is 1987. Tansui Kono is born. Character ages 27, 21, 25, 8, and Ken is 3. Next date, 1988. Felix Garner is born. Uh, Kim is born. And then those are the character ages. Then you continue along over here. And then at this junction in the timeline, at, right after Chrism, um, right here, Chrism is freed herself and reignites her soul. Um, so this is where Rachel is killed. Chrism awakes. 
and she's able to be like, okay, my my reign of just killing under sins does under sins order is over. I now have my brain back. Um, the next year, nineteen ninety six, you have uh, from top Lucy writes her blogs, makes a deal with sin, and Lyomic is born. This is still when I was calling her lust. Um, and then Lucy is killed very shortly after. She was 17. And then also in the same year, Alyssa Garner is born, who is um, Felix's sister, or Lucas's sister. Um, now, in this period, 1995 to 2004, upon receiving her humanity, Chrism sets out to destroy sin and secrecy, eliminating Tuffle that became that become too strong and recruiting those who may share her goals. And this is all way before Devil to the Dam, so we don't have any mention of um, uh, fucking... Uh, Maron or Ilvon, uh, we don't have any mention of him in there because th- otherwise, if I was including everything that happened over to the dam, th- there would be huge. There would be so many little notations in here; it would be ridiculous. This is going mostly for reference from like book one and book two. Nineteen ninety eight. Uh, we go up here, and I think okay. So nineteen ninety eight is this one. Ken discovers a grimoire written about human souls. Sin finds him and grants him Magcrow. So this is where he falls into. Um, after after the whole encounter with the other kids at the orphanage, he falls into the the bunker pit, discovers that grimoire, which like kind of like um, ignites based on his soul. After it comes into contact with the soul, it alerts Sin and Chrism. They go and find him. He gives him Macro in exchange for the book. Ken and Macro kill the entire orphanage, but learn that neither of them wants blood to be their future. Instead, they grow curious of the book that Ken found. Character current ages: Alex is thirty-seven, sixteen, fourteen, eleven, ten, and ten. Now, the next date, 1999, is down here. Chrism senses Ken's lack of killing and finds him. Um, but this is also inaccurate because in Devil to the Dam, she saw his lack of killing. She stayed behind to see what he was doing. And then this is, I assume, like roughly when she would have confronted him about it. She recruits him to watch over Kim, a particular interest, in exchange for the knowledge Sin holds so close. Character ages, yada, yada, yada. Year 2000. Uh, which is this one, Lust has been buried. Uh, Lyomic has been buried, recovering inside Lucy's body. Is then discovered by Chrism and Magcro. They watch over her because her anima is unique enough to survive thus far, having survived after the host was killed by gunshots. Um, A few months later, they find her and redirect her leak from the ditch, and she recovers and climbs out. Um, Yeah. Uh, going up here, we have 2002. Uh, the main thing of this is Felix makes a deal to save his sister and Destro is born. Then he accidentally kills her. These are the character ages. Felix is 14, 14, 15, 18, 40, and 41. Yeah, it's funny to think that Chrism is like a year or so younger than Alex, uh, the whole time. In 2002, that same instance, Alyssa is killed at age 7. The next year, 2003, Alex dies, Lyomic dies, and Destro dies. Fucking Kim slaughters a bunch of people. Uh, I guess slaughter's not not the right word because she barely survives half the time. But then you keep going in that same year. Kim, this is the result of that. Kim makes a deal with Sin and gets Alice. Um, then she kills those people within that year, within a short time. And then jump to 2004, Sin dies, Kim dies. And that is the end of that timeline. So, again, I was just, none of those dates are 100% accurate. They are... Um, they were used as a pretty strong reference for me constructing Book 2 and Devil to the Damned, um, and probably for further reference for Transgression. Um, I might have been constructing this, actually. I think I was doing this right now, because I think I was writing Transgression in 2020, because uh, it was at the Ossipi apartment, I believe. So, <clears throat> but yeah, um, pretty just fun little thing, and I, I just, I enjoyed making it. I like seeing timeline of events, and I like stuff like that, so it was fun to make. It was super stressful, but it definitely helped me in the long run figure a lot of stuff out. I have a whole bunch of written timelines, written notes, and stuff like that, but, you know, having this one right here helped out significantly, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next video. Check out my website. Check out my website, vengeancebooks.com. Uh, check out my Etsy store. Everything's linked down in the description. Listen to the book one audiobook. I just released a poetry collection book. That's Everything's linked down below. So, yeah. Bye. Love you.